Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, we are about to do some super amazing paper crafting. Stay tuned. everyone who stopped by. I really do appreciate you being here. So today we're going to make something so unique and it is going to start with two envelopes. And here's what I'm talking about. I haven't decorated this yet because I haven't decided what it is I want to put on the outside. I am going to give you a closer look at this once we get ready to go over what you're going to need to make it. But this is perfect because we're coming up on graduation season. We're coming up on wedding season. And this will be a perfect way to present gift cards, cash, or whatever it is you might want to give to the new graduate or the bride-to-be. So I'm pretty sure that you're going to have fun with this. And you'll start looking at those boxed card sets that you see in the store a little bit differently. So y'all know what time it is. It is time to make it. And what I'm using is a Create a Card Kit that I got from Tuesday morning about three years ago. And I had never opened them until just recently. I bought these because they had some awesome embellishments on the inside. I didn't buy them for the cards. I actually bought them for the embellishments. And I'm so glad that I did because the embellishments are awesome. But look at these gorgeous card bases and envelopes. Once I opened this, there was no way that I was not going to use this because it's just so gorgeous. So that is what we're going to be working with today. All right, guys. So here is a closer look at what we're going to be making. I did go ahead and put just a little saying on the outside and it says friends make the good times better. And what I did was I used one card and two envelopes to create this folio and then I filled it with all types of encouragement and I thought that this would make a great card for that college graduate or that recent high school graduate because I filled it with all types of encouraging ephemera and this one has a whole bunch of words on it. Be an individual, have an open mind and heart, live your life with purpose and meaning and so many others and i've got that tucked right in here then i used some more cards remember the now just awesome little things that i put inside so that if you wanted to use this as a card for that graduate or a card for that couple starting out this is a great way to do it because you have these two pockets and in the pockets you can tuck whatever you like but you can also tuck in so much ephemera. I am so in love with this, I cannot begin to tell you. It turned out way better than I thought it would. And then I created an envelope. All you need to do is take this, sign your message here, include whatever it is you want to include, tuck it in the envelope, and drop it in the mail. So let's get started on making this so that you can see just how easy it is. So what I have here is one five by seven card and two of the envelopes. Then I have a piece of nine and a half by 12 inch paper that I'll be using for the envelope. So we are going to take our two envelopes and we're going to join the envelopes together. The way that we're going to do that is we're going to take one envelope and just tuck it inside of the other one just like that. So we've taken that flap, opened it, and now we're just going to tuck it inside. So you're going to create that. Then I'm going to flip this over, fold this backwards, and I am just going to add some tape. And now I can bring it over and get it stuck. And now we have the jacket for our project. So now that we have this joined, I'm going to go ahead, fold it in half, and reinforce that crease. So we're going to bring in our first five by seven card. And we're simply going to separate them. So I am going to put it in my trimmer, trim away that joint, and now I have my two five by seven cards. And so now I'm going to take my double stick tape and I am just going to add double stick tape to the back if you have a Xyron sticker maker or some way to apply adhesive on the back. 
you can certainly use that and save yourself just a little bit of time. But I am just going to go ahead and lay down my tape and I'm going to place tape on both pieces. So there's one and I'll go ahead and do the second half. And so now that we have these two pieces, I am going to take my envelope front and we will be covering this. So I am going to peel away my tape backer. And on the front, I am going to use the part of the card that did not have the company stamp on it. So I'll just take this and when I put it down, I am just going to try to get it even. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And then I'll take this piece and I am going to put it down, just trying to match it top and bottom with that first piece. And now we have our sweet little folio outside. And so now we'll come to the inside. And for this, we are going to need that second card. I am going to use my ruler. Now I'm not going to do any measuring on this part because it really is up to you. I am just going to trim it, trim away enough so that I can create two pockets. So I have those two pieces. So now that I have this piece, I am using my 1 8 inch tape and I am just going to run tape along the bottom. And then I'm going to take a strip of that same 1 8 inch tape and I am going to run it right on the outside of my score marks on both sides. And I'll show you what I've done in just a second. So hopefully there's not too much glare. You can see that fold mark right there and I ran a thin strip of tape on both sides of the score mark and then across the bottom. So all I'm going to do is use my big old spatula to get that nice and stuck. Then I'll peel away the tape backer. Then I'm going to take this piece and when I put it down, I'm going to try to put it down so that I have that fold lined up in the center. And now I can take this and I can fold it and I have my little pockets and because I added the tape going down the middle, I don't have to worry about that coming undone. Now we have this awesome envelope folio process that we can use for any season, any reason, any gender. If you have some cards that you haven't used and you don't know what to do with them, go ahead and pull them out and turn them into something like this. Then when you need one, pull it out, add your decorations, and pop it in the mail. And the way that I'm going to decorate this is I have some Tim Holtz ideology ephemera that I got from Tuesday morning about three years ago at the same time that I purchased this. And these are some of the pieces of ephemera that came in the card kit. So I am going to use some of those as well. But first I'm going to pull out just a few cards that I want to use. To start, I like these two because they say it's always the small pieces that make the big picture. And then I like this one because it says, hold on tight to your dreams. So I know that I'm going to go with those two. 
Then I want to get a couple of large ones because I really want this to be an inspirational journey. And I like this one. Of course I do. Creativity is seeing things everyone else has seen and thinking what no one else has ever thought. And that is really how my mind works. So I really do like this saying, and I'm going to add that in this card. Then I'm just going to pick out another card from this collection that might offer just a little bit of inspiration. And I'm going to take this one that says, where to and I might even throw in that floral one so we're going to see how that's going to work out so here's what I'm going to do y'all I want to make sure that I cover this branding right here so what I'm going to do is just find me a sweet piece of ephemera and add that here and I think what I want to go with is I want to go with this that says you are special. So I am going to bring in my glue and it does have a little pop dot on the inside, but I'm not going to remove that because it's so thin. It's not even going to interfere with me using this as a pocket. So all I'm going to do is take my glue and go along three sides and we're going to put this right here and that is going to cover that branding mark on that side. And I'm going to give that just a second to dry. And then I'm going to take this little piece right here and I'm simply going to fold it in half. And so if you want to cut your own piece, this piece measures six and three quarters by three and a quarter. So I'm just going to fold it in half And we're going to put that right in there because that'll be where we write the lovely message. But we're also going to create another little pocket. So I'm just going to take my glue and I'm going to run my glue along three sides. And then when I put this down, I'll be able to do a tuck in at the back there. So I have this wonderful little pocket. And then on the inside, I'm going to take this little piece of ephemera that measures three and a quarter by two and an eighth, and I'm just going to place it down. So how I'm choosing to decorate this um, is not the way that you have to decorate yours, but I'm giving you the measurements in case you want to use the same sizing that I have on this. So now we have a nice little place on the inside where we can write a sweet little note and then on this side here I am going to take this little sticker that says life is better when you're laughing and I'm going to put that right there so you have this beautiful message when you open this and then I'm going to find a nice little message for the outside and then I have this little sticker that says focus on the positive and be thankful so I am going to put that right there and y'all can see just how easy this is to do and it is coming together so very quickly so now i have these two sweet little mini cards that are also three and a quarter by two and an eighth i can just take those and tuck them in that little pocket that i created just for some cuteness then i have more of the same size cards three and a quarter by two and an eighth enjoy this journey and now i can take these and we can just tuck these right here in this pocket. So we have these little nooks and crannies where we can tuck all types of fun little messages to the person that we're giving this to. Now I think what I want to do on the inside, I'm going to take just a couple of my stickers and we're going to place those right there so that when this card is opened and these little, and the pieces of ephemera are removed, then we'll have those awesome little messages to the person that we're giving this to. So there we have those two. So now we can start tucking in our cards. I am going to take this one and place it right here. Again, these card sizes are six and three quarters by three and a quarter. So I'm going to put 
this one in right there. I'll take this one. It says where to. We're just going to tuck it. And then I'll take these two. Hold on tight to your dreams. It's always the small pieces that make the big picture. And I am just going to tuck those in right there. So we have this awesome little folio that is filled, filled with all types of words of encouragement. Then you can tuck in some gift cards or some cash. Whatever it is you want to add in this, you now have space to do it. But this is truly a special little keepsake item. And so then I'm just going to close it and we're going to add something right here. I have this awesome little saying that says, breathe it all in and love it all out. And I am just going to use my scissors to just cut this into sections. I don't know if y'all can hear the wind blowing. It is really getting stormy outside, so I'm probably going to need to head inside in just a few minutes. So I am going to take this and place it down. Breathe it all in. And then I'll take the and love it all out and place it down just like that. I really didn't want to do too much to the outside because I wanted all of the beautiful scenery on the card just to be my embellishment and I wanted to add just a few little words to the front. So I am going to flip it over and I was debating whether or not I wanted to cover the back and I think I am going to go ahead and cover the back. And to cover the back, I have a sticker that says dream. And I'm just going to place that right there so that when you flip this over to the back, you have that beautiful reminder to dream. So there we have it. So super simple, so easy to make. I am going to open this and give you a look at all of this goodness. We have an awesome place here to write our note to the person that we're giving this to. We have added some little pieces of encouragement in these two pockets that we created. Then in the larger pockets, we have added some larger cards that hold words of encouragement. So we now have an item that is truly ready to go. You know what we need? We need an envelope. All right, so to make our envelope, we are going to use that piece of decorative paper that measures 12 by nine and a half. On the nine and a half inch side, we're going to score at one, rotate it to the opposite nine and a half inch side, and we're going to score at one. Then we'll turn it to the 12 inch side. We're going to score at five and at 10 and a half. And now we are going to fold and burnish our scores. And now that we have our scores folded and burnished, if you are not used to making envelopes, I am going to do one side of this envelope in a way that will be helpful to show you how to actually cut your envelope. And basically what you're going to do is where you have this fold, you can angle there and angle there. And you'll only need to do this if you don't have any real practice making envelopes on your own without a punch board. Then when you get more seasoned at making envelopes this way, there won't be any need for you to make these guide marks for you to cut. But I'm going to show you how to do this right now. If you're not seasoned with it, I'll do it on this side using this method. And then I'll do it on this side as if everyone is seasoned at making envelopes. So now I'm going to bring my ruler up to that score mark right at the point of that V. I'm going to angle in just a little bit. So there's my angle. And this is how I'm going to trim out this envelope. So we can disregard that piece. I just wanted to give you a visual V of what I would be doing. Then we'll come to the top here and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to make ourselves a mark because we're going to go to that intersection where these two meet and we'll make that mark and then we'll be able to take our ruler, place it on that mark and just angle a little bit and that is how we're going to cut out to make our envelope. So now I'll just take my finger blade 
and I'm going to cut following that mark and I'll cut following that mark and then I'll do the same thing here I'll cut following that mark and then I'll cut following that mark so if you are not used to making your own envelopes if you go through that process that will help you to get used to actually angling in top and bottom to make that glue panel that you need right here so I'm going to do this side without making any marks so all I would do is go up to that point angle in angle there to get these two practically mirrored and then I'll angle here and then I'll angle here and so now we have an envelope ready to be put together and the way that I'm going to put it together is I am going to use glue so this narrow flap here that's the top that will fold over we're going to take our glue and put it on this piece here so I'll take my glue and apply a thin bead as close to the edge as I can and I'll do the same thing on this side and then I'm going to take just a little bit of glue and place it right there and that'll just ensure that my envelope is nice and sealed now I can take it and fold it and then I'll use my big old spatula to smooth everything out and to make sure that this is nice and secure when it's mailed I am going to take some of my double strip tape place tape across the top and then I'll also take a piece of tape and run it down the side and run it down this side So I am going to bring this card in. We're going to take it, put it in the envelope, and we have a beautiful fit. Seal that, put your address labels on the front. This probably will require some additional postage, probably not a lot, but I am thinking that some additional postage would be needed on this. But even with any additional postage that you might need to put on this, it is well worth it. So I am going to bring that first one back in. Let's open it so that y'all can see these two little cuties. They are absolutely gorgeous. So simple. Didn't do a whole lot in the way of embellishments. I allowed the decorative nature of these cards to serve as the embellishments. Then I added just some feel good words on the front. Then on the inside, didn't do a whole lot in the way of dressing this because I wanted to make sure that the card itself was giving me all that I needed in terms of beauty. And then I added in my encouraging ephemera, a couple of pockets, and we have something that is ready to be mailed. So guys, I hope that you have liked this fun little project that started with two five by seven cards and two envelopes to support those five by seven cards. If you have liked this project, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. Remember, creativity is seeing things everyone else has seen and thinking what no one else has ever thought. So as always, you guys, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.